All right, joining me now for another edition of Know Your Knights is Knights NHL forward Matt Kidney. And Matt, uh, you guys are coming off a strong opening weekend here. You get two wins, one at home, one on the road against the New Jersey Titans. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, after coming off big wins like that, scoring a lot of goals in both of those games, um, what's, your, what's your general impression of this team? You know, um, we have a good line with uh, Olmstead and uh, what's that, um, Bronte. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they, they worked and Hatton. They worked well on uh, Saturday. Sure. Uh, the young guys got it done. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Friday we just we pounded the pavement. You know, we um, we didn't start off too good. Mm -hmm. we didn't have a good, uh, our best first. And uh, you know, we came out with the win, which was good. And going into Blaine, it's two and zero. It's you know, it's really good. Sure. And on that Friday game, you of course had the uh, the overtime game winner on a breakaway there in three on three. Uh, take me through that. What, what goes through your head in a situation like that? I mean, three on three, you always got to be cautious and you always want to take chances. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Fowl got me the puck. I kind of lost it a little bit. I was a little ticked off of myself. <laughs> but uh, I saw Bronte was right there with me. And, um, you know, I, I had to stop the blue one so I didn't go off sides. Right. And he chipped it to me and kind of looked over my shoulder, saw no one was there and just ripped it. I, Fusco in between the yeah. second and third was like stay away from his club. So I was about to ask you about yeah. that because you had another breakaway yeah. and the kid Perone in net for for New Jersey made a couple of glove saves, not yeah. just on you and there's a couple others. Uh, and I was going to ask you if you guys made that conscious decision to go low right. because it, you know it seemed to work. You got uh, on that goal that you were you had an assist on. Mm -hmm. You know you guys kind of stuffed it through the fiber and then right. of course the game winner goes right by the I believe it was the uh, right skate there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So you guys had that that kind of planned out. Uh, yeah. But yeah, then uh, again, you kind of touched on it with the with the young guys. But overall, I mean, I remember you telling me at main camp, you know, Josh Fricks was a guy who stood out to you. But right. you mentioned Lincoln Hatton, Tyrone Bronte, and then uh, of course Jack Olmstead, who just had big games on Saturday. Right. Uh, but just in general, you know, with all of these newcomers coming into the building and, and getting points on the board pretty quickly here. Yeah. Um, what do you like about that group? I know we talked about their speed at main camp, but just in overall, what are they doing right? I mean, you know, they're all they're all staying after practice, all looking to work out, and uh, you know, even I give a little shout out to Temple. He's he's kind of not been up the points, but he's a big part of our right. our team. He's winning faceoffs, and you know, they're all doing little things. They're all wanting to get better, and you know, it's um it's good to see as a as a veteran that sure. rookies want to be here every day. Sure, and then again last year you were a high draft pick, first round pick for this team. Um, you know, you've been through that process, adjusting to this level. But do uh, you give them just kind of general pointers of advice in terms of practice or off the ice? You know, what kind of leadership role do you play with them? I mean, you don't want to tell them what they're doing. Like, you don't want to be making them do everything. You right. want to kind of let them do it on their own and learn on their own. But, you know, got them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Now, Blaine's coming up. You guys are uh, getting ready. I believe you're flying out tomorrow. Yep. If that's correct. Um, the four games in Blaine, obviously a lot of eyes, a lot of scouts um, from all over. Uh, but just in general, you know, you've been through this process before. What excites you about that trip? And then again, what kind of, you know, just general words of wisdom do you give to your teammates who may have not been through this before? You know, you, you, it's a, it's just a hockey game, mm -hmm. and you can't be worrying about who's watching, who's who's in the stands. And um, we're going out there to win. We yeah. want to be four and zero. We had four tough opponents, mm -hmm. and we're just going to go out there and give it our best. Gotcha. Now we'll flip it over to our uh, rapid fire segment here again. It's so meant to be fun questions, um, you know, and, and <laughs> we kind of we, we try to vary them. We keep some questions the same, but uh, let's start with this one because this is one we've been asking already this year. Um, if you got to pick the goal song for this team, what would you pick? I mean, I like the one from last year. Yeah, uh, Sam Anton, I picked a good one. Okay, I can't even. It was like Oompa Loompa or something. <laughs> it was. It was a good one. Yeah. I think it was. I think it might have been remixed a little bit. So yeah, it yeah, might have yeah. had. Yeah, yeah. It might have had like a different name, but okay. Um, it was a good, good dancing one. Yeah, get, uh, get, the <laughs> get everyone moving. Yeah, uh, this is especially relevant to you because you made it work on uh, Friday night. But you know, the big thing with the new NHL game this year is you can play three on threes against everybody, and your buddies or online or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm curious, would you pick the same two guys you went out there and scored the game winner with? If you had a choice of anyone on this team to go out and play three on three against uh, another trio on this team. Right. Who would you pick to play with, and who would you pick on this team to play against? I mean, if you were to ask me that last week, I would have picked uh, two different guys. Okay. But, uh, I mean, I got to pick Bronte. Uh, yep. We made it happen. We were good on the penalty kill on Saturday. Yep, yep. Um, me and him showed some chemistry there. and Probably pick Marcus Comos. Okay. Yeah, okay. he's a good puck moving yeah, defenseman. He can, so. he can get up by it's okay. And is there, is there a three that you'd like to go against to try to uh, test the skills on this team? 
Um, well, I like a little competition, yeah. so I, I read her and Mo. Uh, okay. They got some chemistry, yeah. and yeah. probably uh, Farrell. He's okay. a good skater, and sure. you know, can be deadly in three on three. Sure. Okay. Um, you've heard in-flight movies on planes. Um, you guys are gonna have some long bus trips at times this year. If you guys uh, had the capability to all watch the same movie at the same time on a long trip to whatever opponent, mm -hmm. uh, what movie would you pick? What would be your go-to to keep everybody entertained? I mean, I like Let's Be Cops. Okay. I'm a big, okay. uh, big uh, comedian guy okay. and comedy. Like, uh, like those type of movies, comedian okay. action. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. Uh, last one here for you. Uh, this is this is one of the more unique questions that I've heard and that I've asked. Um, if you were to be stranded on a desert island with one teammate, oh boy. who would you pick and why? To survive. <laughs> to survive with the oh end goal. Gosh. <laughs> Maybe Mike Gillette. Okay. Just because we... You got the know. Middletown connection there. Yeah. You guys got some stories um, from home. Honest, honest, probably Bronte. Yeah? Because he's from Australia. So like, <laughs> I got some weird stuff over yeah, there. Yeah, he's kind of used know. to that. I mean, it's, it's a big island, obviously. It's a continent, but, you know, he's kind of used to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably pick Bronco because okay. he's funny, too. You okay. Know? He's he just a good guy. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. die. I mean, it's nice <laughs> some laughing. You're having fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Matt, we appreciate a few minutes here. We wish you the best of luck in Blaine, and uh, we look forward to talking to you soon. Yep. All right. Thanks.